Darren for a day. And thank you for tuning in. And thanks for, you know, all the likes and everything on the channel, man. It's been great. It's been a lot of years since I put anything out. Because the solar uh, industry has taken off so much, I thought, hey, what the heck, man? I'll, I'll show you guys a down and dirty, you know, get the solar panels in, get some power uh, to an RV out in the middle of the woods. I mean, this is, you're going to see a lot of mistakes, and I don't, if you want to make some comments and complain, fine, it's just more hits on the, on the website. But look, I know there's a lot of mistakes here, and there's a lot better ways to do this. Throw as much money as you want to at it, because you can spend a fortune putting this crap in. But it's really not necessary. Okay. Now, so what I've got here, I've got uh, some 305 watt panels. And I've mounted, this is 305 watts, this is 305 watts here. So there's 610 watts of power. And these particular panels are made by Jinko. And they don't, uh, they no longer are in production of this particular panel. It's a JKM 305P72. It's rated at 305. These have a few years on them. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them, wire them for 80 volts, put them in series 80 volts. Got some number 10 gauge wire that I'm going to run back to the controller. So I've got another set of panels here. So I have another 610 volts, I mean 610 watts here, 80 volts, back to our control section on this RV. And this is kind of a mess out here, I know, sorry, but anyway. So we're gonna hook this sucker up, run it to the controller, and go from there. Now this is a, this has been a project getting this stuff going. Now what I've got, is I've got an MPPT, uh, Maximum Power Point Technology Controller. I think that's what it's called. Uh, this was about $155 after tax on Amazon. This is actually a 60 amp model. I don't think you can get this one anymore. But anyway, it's rated at 60 amps. Uh, this is a 12 volt system. Now I would run a 24 volt. These are 36 volt panels, but I would run 24 volt but I'm not going to because this camper is everything in it is 12 volts and I don't feel like fooling with it right now so uh, you're gonna see a lot of mistakes like right here these should be soldered and done a whole lot better this is a terrible job but they're connected okay so what can I say I got five deep cycle batteries also lead acid very bad idea I have a 2000 watt Jupiter dirty uh, non sine wave inverter here that's for later on running power tools things like that whatever you definitely need a pure sine wave if you're going to do this stuff and do it right so anyway we're going to hook this up and just see how many amps we can get out of it i need more fuses there's not enough fuses in this system i know this i definitely got to get some more fuses in the lines but anyway we're going to hook it up and just see if uh, these old panels will perform Got this out where we can see it a little better. Uh, this is the system here. Now this is battery and battery. Make sure that you don't put it on load. This is for lights and things like that. And it's generally not, you know, you don't want to accidentally put your battery cables here, which I just did by the way, and I had to undo it. Uh, I've used number 10 gauge wire doubled up. Now number 10 gauge wire uh, can handle, uh, you know, about 40 amps, but uh, you double it up and and I mean if you want to go by code you're looking at some big wires that I you know that I doubt will even go in here but if you got the money by all means you know get you some number four gauge wire run it all the way to your panels and spend a fortune but you can just do it this way and this is 80 volts over here coming in it's gonna be a little over 80 volts so uh, the smaller wire is fine for the 80 volts now once you drop down to the 12 volts you, you need to get these wires much bigger because there's going to be thousands of watts eventually going to those batteries so these these cables have to be large enough to handle that load in this case 60 amps of power can go through here uh, and and that's it no more so about 2700 watts something like that i think is what this is rated for at 60 amps do the math you have 12 volts that we're running on this particular system you can go up to 48 volts but on this one we're running at 12 volt all right so we'll go back over here to the panels and now I need to connect now look I'm in full sunlight okay this is extremely dangerous 
because right now I have at least 80 volts probably going to this thing because I'm in the sun and I'm, I'm going to check the voltage here 82.3 volts is what we're getting right now on the on the panel in full sun that's a lot of volts that'll knock your in the dirt right there so I gotta hook this stuff up though I need to wait till dark to actually put these things together but I'm not going to I'm gonna be careful and, and try to get it in okay I put these in uh, some plastic conduit and I rigged a seal for it like I said there's no parts places I can get anything right now so this is what it's got to be I secured it it can't come out and of course I want to seal this now this is all temporary until we can do it right but all right 82 volts going to the controller and 82 volts from this one going to the controller and the MPPT is doing its job I mean I noticed the fan is running quite loud showing 62 watt hours so far that it's produced 14.2 volts is current charging or batteries it's charging at 5.5 amps 78 watts because these batteries these five batteries are fully charged so it's just topping them off the other stuff there's no load on it it's a fluid battery and uh, the time so 79.6 volts are coming to this controller and we're only charging at one amp right now so it tells me these batteries are fully charged so what we're going to do we're going to put a load on these and uh, everything's nice and cool this is the temperature sensor it's supposed to go to the battery boxes which it will fan just just cycled off so this thing's really cool it's running nice so i'm going to hook the ac up turn it on put a load on this thing and see what happens i've added the air conditioner so the ac is on and i've got the inverter going so let's see how many watts we're getting now okay so right now we're charging at 691 watts which I'm pretty sure that AC is a little over 5,000 BTU so 600 watts is, is about right so we're getting 694 watts 89 watt hours produced so far by the solar cells 14 volts right now at the battery 47.1 amps so we're running 47 46.6 amps is what we're looking at right now 46 amps wow it's amazing 45 amps wow six hundred watts Showing 48 volts on the cells because we're, we're tapping those cells. 11.9, 12 amps, about 12 amps of charge. 550 watts, I believe. 98 watt hours produced. 13.5 volts, 39.7 amps. Currently, right now, going into the uh, going into the batteries. and a little over 500 watts pretty cool so it's doing a good job it's doing what it's supposed to do the cells are producing so it's definitely working doing a good job for me so i'm very happy with that i've got uh, everything hooked up and most of the most load i could put on was 700 watts and that was with air conditioner running computer running a few things in there so which is really all this thing needs. It doesn't have to have a whole lot, at least right now. So uh, these panels are doing a fine job, 300 watts a piece. They've got some weathering of the UV coating. That's what these little weird looking things are. And that's fine. That's perfectly normal to be expected. And I uh, wired up a J box to keep the connections out of the rain, wired for 80 volts. And I put everything in these, uh, it so it won't get too much UV damage I need to add a bunch more of that that stuff's really expensive by the way but I need to secure that better but the panels are doing fantastic now this is set up for a winter configuration in winter time the Sun comes up 
literally over there okay to the uh, to the southeast the summertime it actually comes up over there which is behind the panels so it's kind of a problem I don't actually get any Sun until you know it comes to about right here so wintertime huge difference it'll be coming up way over there and it'll go behind that tree and then over to the west so that's kind of how it goes here I've got all these Harbor Freight panels 600 watts of Harbor Freight panels and they just really can't compete uh, with with, the, with these commercial panels these commercial panels just do such a fine job of collecting the Sun even on cloudy days these really do produce as to where the Harbor Freight panels they don't really produce very much amperage at all on a cloudy day so you just get a lot better job done with commercial panels these are tough too these things are 25 years 25 year panels 402 p.m. and I'm already in the shade on panel number one so that's that's depressing but that will change it will change as we get into winter so four o'clock panel number one is down I bet it's still producing good amperage though this one here is still getting some good sun I'm probably gonna add another set of panels over here because I've always got sun this way so I'm probably gonna add at least two more panels right there I'm gonna replace those Harbor Freights with uh, with at least two more panels right there so another day so anyway that's the situation it looks good I'm very happy with these panels that I got from Chad he did a good job uh, finding these panels this is gonna have to be totally redone this needs to be fireproof it needs to be air cooled I need to have air holes which I don't have at this point I'm gonna have to do that I'll pull the fuse tonight so it doesn't uh, have any air problems over the night and in the morning if I don't wake up so now I built this box this is a power inverter and this is fairly safe because it's it's elevated it's cooled it's got plenty of air cooling on both sides and this is fine I actually should take that put it in here I'm not using this thing very poor review I would give Jupiter on this thing this is a very dirty inverter not a good inverter I'm gonna get a pure sine wave inverter put it right here and we'll run everything off of this from now on or you can't use all the power out of the batteries you can only use about half so that's where we're at on that so anyway that's good I've got, I've got it set up. I'm really happy. Thanks for watching. Keep it real.